The amount of computation we need is really quite incredible. And this is basically one giant chip. If we would have had to build a chip, one, there we go. Sorry, guys. You see that? That's cool. Look at that. Disco lights in here. <laughs> if we had to build this as one chip, obviously, this would be the size of the wafer. But this doesn't even include the impact of yield. It would have to be probably three or four times the size. But what we basically have here is 72 Blackwell GPUs or 144 dies. This one chip here is 1.4 exaflops. The world's largest supercomputer, fastest supercomputer, only recently, this entire room supercomputer only recently achieved an exaflop plus. This is 1.4 exaflops of AI floating point performance. It has 14 terabytes of memory, but here's the amazing thing. The memory bandwidth is 1.2 petabytes per second. That's basically, basically the entire internet traffic that's happening right now. The entire world's internet traffic is being processed across these chips, okay? And we have um, 130 trillion transistors in total, 2,592 CPU cores, whole bunch of networking. And so these, I wish I could do this. I don't think I will. So these are the black wells. These are our ConnectX networking chips. These are the NVLink, and we're trying to pretend about the, NV, the, the NVLink spine, but that's not possible, okay? And these are all of the HBM memories, 12 ter 14 terabytes of HBM memory. This is what we're trying to do, and this is the miracle. This is the miracle of the Blackwell system. 